and we're live we're live ladies gentlemen and everyone else um if, even if you're not uh, ennobled by um being part of a corrupt tory government um other corrupt governments are available um as of the 4th of july unfortunately unfortunately um we, we, I, we, we're going to get rid of this lot. Um, I cannot promise that, I hope so. um, the replacement will be. Um, I mean, they they won't be worse. Um, we well, got political really quickly, didn't it? <laughs> Re really. Well, the thing is, he's the replacement is well nothing. He's got. He's not. Isn't. Is not. Like, who is he? What is he? I, I want him in mainly because I don't want Tories. But like, I mean, I, he's got I no policies. He's got no unfair. And I think that the. Uh, I, the Labour Party have a lot of policies. I do not. Not believe... specifically Kia. Uh, well, I mean, yes, he uh, what what he has done a lot of, and this is this has got continued to be very political as we wait for Alid. Uh, what, what had happened is that um, uh, lots of the spending pledges have turned out not to be possible anymore because the uh, Tory Party have just sort of, I, I mean, uh, for want of a better phrase, uh, wasted a lot of money on making their mates rich. Um, so uh, I'm. I'm not pro this government. I, I think I don't think that's not to any of our viewers. Uh, but no. hello, viewer. Uh, hello, Hublu, uh, the ever reliable Hublu. Um, I hope you are well. I need to get rid of that. I am, as ever, surviving on um, on just just the one PC screen. So um, on on that basis, uh, things will be as slick as they were last time. Uh, that's, a, that's a warning for you. Um, I I am save, saving up for the new machine. I'm 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 not as far away as, as I might be, um, but we will see. We will see what birthdays bring. Um, and we will see how much money I spend at the UK Games Expo on shiny things. Um, I'm usually reasonably good, but uh, but you never know. Um, we are going to be returning to the Expanse. Uh, we're going to do that uh, pretty much as soon as Alid comes to join us. Um, picking up from last time, where. Uh, we had th literally the only outcome that uh, that could be canonical uh, with our with our podcast campaign, and that that is that you guys passed out uh, just having survived. Um, <laughs> hey, Alid, how's it doing? How's it going? Yeah, no, I'm good. Just the passed out thing. I'm like, yeah, passed out. That's exactly what happened yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, could you, Ali, do me a favour and change your status from chilling to uh, none on oh, uh, Discord, and then we won't have... Back to... It defaults back, yeah. There we go. Oh, we... Um, I also don't know how to change that permanently. Um, yeah. Viewer, I hope you're well. Ali, I hope you've got uh, 3D6, one of which is uh, markedly different in some way. I, am um, just I know Adam's got, got dice, there. that's not the problem. Has Adam got any notes from last time, or... Here's the real test. Any memory of last time? No. Okay. Excellent. Um, uh, today's drink is suspiciously yellow. Mm. I say one of us had a particularly eventful weekend. Come on, you reds! So, uh, I don't remember a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I reckon uh, if a, a manager wins the FA Cup for you, you should sack them. I think that's that's what you should do. That seems the most logical option, doesn't it? Yeah. But, We've know, already done me, it once before. For me, why do Manchester United always sack the managers I love? That's that's the thing. I reckon you should bring back Mourinho. That's what I think you should do. He mm. was doing the Lord's work at that club. Go one step further. Just bring back Moyes with Oli as his assistant. No, you see, Moyes might actually try and, and might not destroy the entire club. Whereas I think, I think Jose Mourinho, history's greatest monster, uh, might actually do, might actually take the club. Might just burn it to the ground. Yeah. I mean, we, it looks like Sir Jim's trying his best so far. Well, I think it's fascinating that uh, there's a real problem with you playing in the Europa League because um, Nice are also in the Europa League. Well, if there is cities. Group will also get caught by it because Girona. Oh, uh, I, I, I absolutely think City that, that should happen problem. as well. Yeah, I think both City and United no, but City will be, stay in it. I think they should both be promoted G a, 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 a competition. But then again, I yeah, but that means yeah, but that also means Chelsea will be in the Europa League. No, you, you have a choice of United or Chelsea in the Europa League. No, there'll be there'll be some other club from somewhere around the world that deserves <laughs> it more. 
I mean, literally well, then, if, any if... club deserves it more than Chelsea. But that's, um, um, which, we've done politics, Alex. We're now doing football. Um, We're now doing football, oh, I yeah. miss politics. You miss politics. Um, uh, it's not the official sh- stance of the show, just my, my personal stance. I'm sort of anti this government and pro a different one. <laughs> it was quite in-depth. Um, yeah. Well, all I, all, all I can, can contribute is just vote. Just whatever yes, you do. please do. Vote early and vote Use often. Your that's, uh, that's what you should do. Failing, just spoil your ballot. Just I mean, at least un- uh, unless go to the gap. To, to vote Reform UK, in which case, oh, um, well, then don't please bother. don't, yeah, don't vote. Bother. Stay at home. They're, they're, yeah. they're all the same. Just don't bother. Um, all righty then. How are we doing, Alad? You all right? Yes. I'm just gathering myself and all the components I require for. I found that I've got half a dozen different notebooks and I found the one that I used two weeks ago. So I've got all my notes. Excellent. 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 Have you gathered the brain cells required as well? Yeah. It's, it's, it's the emotional fortitude <laughs> usually with the expanse. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to get too attached to the characters because, um, well, we Correct. saw what happened last time. Um, <laughs> right. Well, um, if you're ready, shall we get started? We'll do the thing, um, mm. which is here we go. I think have I now? I may or may not have corrected this. It, the YouTube got so uh, last last week's last times episode is up on YouTube. Um, YouTube got very upset briefly that we had uh, a piece of classical music at the front uh, and then calmed down about it. So I can't remember whether I have updated the uh, the theme tune, but don't worry because Alid and Adam will not be able to hear it. So we'll 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 do we'll do this. Here we go. Probably for the best that we can't hear it because then I can't be prompted to talk over the music when I know what's playing. It's quite a smart play. <laughs> Wonder when Hello it starts. and welcome to the D20 <laughs> Future Show, the only show where the, the cast seem determined to make their no good edit point for when I attempt to edit this in uh, <laughs> uh, on YouTube. So thanks, Adam. Uh, I, I think I'm going to have to get so close to the bit where I switch the slide uh, in order to achieve that uh, that you're going to just immediately talk directly over the beginning of the show. So um, uh, viewers on YouTube, I, I know he did that, and I am also annoyed. Uh, hello, welcome to the D20 Future Show, the the uh, the only podcast that I introduce repeatedly because I can't remember how to do this show. Uh, we are uh, going to play the Expanse RPG. The Expanse RPG is uh, a fantastic RPG uh, here, uh, written by Green Ronin Games. There you go, uh, tied in with the books and by extension, although not necessarily with the TV show. The Expanse. Uh, The books are great. Uh, I highly recommend you read the books. Uh, We, however, are continuing our story from last week. So, um, with a deft flick of of the... I've only got one monitor and this is harder now. I'm going to pop Adam up to tell us what happened last time. Okay. So, last time. It was me and Alid, wasn't it, last time? Uh, No, pardon, pardon me for breathing. Uh, Grigory and Max, it was. Um, Correct. Grigory and Maximilian. Yes, yes. Um, on a ship uh, that I've just called Grundlewater. That's 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 what I've written down. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I I think it was in fact uh, called Beowulf, but um, Grundlewater is nah. close enough, I guess. <laughs> uh, and it was basically. It didn't. It wasn't really a ship anymore. It was more just like a loose collection of metal and wires. Um, um, and it's a Grendel class ship. That was the yes. So found. you boarded a Grendel class freighter, the Wiglaf. I thought it was the Beowulf. No, the... your ship was the that's Beowulf. Our ship. Yeah, you, that's your what, yeah. ship. You remember the ship that you used to have? Sure. Um. And then, yeah, we went. Uh, we basically just got bullied by Richard for an hour and a half, <laughs> more or less. Um, and, and yeah, basically we died. But now Richard's trying to retcon that we didn't die. I assume you didn't die. You were both dying. Dying. Um, at what point does dying just become dead? Well, kind I, of a state of mind, I suppose. 
Um, our state of state of body. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a state of mind, Adam. But um, kudos for the brilliant <laughs> recap of the uh, of the show, so, of the uh, the game so far. Brilliant. You're welcome, uh, Alan. Do you want to fill in any gaps there? Uh, I don't think so. Other than yeah, no, you take that, Kirk. Was... It was a comprehensive oh, recap. Let's on continue. The track. Level with you. <laughs> I am disappointed in you, Alid, but okay. <laughs> well, I, that, there's the gist of what went on. The details as were we went up the no, we went down the ship. Yeah. Well, depend on your directions in space. <laughs> we went down the ship to the um, engine room to try and get the power back on. Port. Um, Is it on? Starboard. Which aft. one's? After the, the is ship. that the back the bomb the bomb the bomb the bomb. arse end of the ship <laughs> we went to the arse end of the ship <laughs> which is where the reactor is as yeah, we went through the door it just said arse end I think it's basically um, is known as the bomb of the ship yes <laughs> um, of which when we turned the power back on the upside was all the lights came on the downside was so did the auto destruct functionality yes yes it um, did, didn't it? which now that i look back on it that was far more of a downside than the lights coming on and i regret my decisions <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then we were attacked by drones which were overpowered beyond all belief i'm sure they were firing like orbital laser beams <laughs> pretty sure yeah. that's yeah, yeah. If I remember correctly, that sounds about right. Yes, <laughs> and we uh, almost died. Correct, correct. Uh, you were you were dying, despite the um, constitution <laughs> minus three that I have, or whatever it is. Yeah, I've got comps yeah. well, written down. I, don't worry. I'm sure we'll have a good reason to look up the dying rules again uh, later today. Uh, but first, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to introduce ourselves. I think we'll do that. Uh, then I'll do some uh, behind the scenes jiggery pokery that will be uh, obvious to everybody. And then we'll, we'll get started. We'll pick up the adventure. Um, so we left off basically with the two of you both passed out on the command deck of the Wiglaf. What happened next? Uh, all we know is that at some point in the near future, the two of you will be the crew of, or part of the crew, of an ice hauler ship uh, in in space. So we know you survived. In space! But that's, that's all we know. Um, so, here we go. Adam, tell us about, about you and your character. Me? Well, what do you want to know? Anything in particular? Um, what what would you tell someone on a first date? Well, I've not been on a first date in thirteen years. Um, Seems so to be, must be overdue one. That's uh, that's how it works, right? I, prob I probably am. Yeah, let's forget about this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's find a first date just for the sake of it. Um, um, ladies and gentlemen, I... uh, and and everyone else of Twitch, I should assure you that is a joke, and Adam is taken. <laughs> what Amy doesn't know. No, that's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what Amy doesn't know probably doesn't happen because I, I'm absolutely hopeless. <laughs> yes. um, I, you, you, were you to decide to have an affair, it's a decent chance you just wouldn't get ready to go wrong. It. Uh... Yeah, just be the admin, the admin of an affair. I don't have time for that admin. Um, <laughs> Apart from the fact that you love your wife very dearly and that she is, you know. Oh, oh yes, of course. That is the main. That's the main reason I'm not having an affair, not the admin. <laughs> that's, that, that's the big one because you promise not to. That's that's it. Yes, that that is what I did. Promise those words, Adam. Let's uh, so, suggest we've learned enough about you. Tell us about your character <laughs> before, uh, so, before we break up your marriage live on Twitch. I'm sure Ames wouldn't mind. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, tell us about no. Max. Yes. Uh, Max is a... He's from Earth. He's a... I can't honestly remember. And guess what? I've not decided to pull up in advance of this. Um, your character sheet. Yeah, that that would be exactly a hundred percent correct guess. Um, well, sorry, I'll tell I can you find what, it straight away. As as we attempt, I've got to it. Be... Oh, you got it. You got um, it. Okay, we we've yeah. in time. Yeah. We're still slick. We did. Um, he's a he's quite athletic. He's a he's a he's uh, described as sexy and handsome. That's that's uh, 
That's that's just a fact. He's a sexy and handsome man. Um, he's athletic. He's a bit ecstatic. And yeah, he's, he's just a good-looking chap. All right, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's Max, full name Maximilian Pondichern. Uh, tell me, tell me, Alex, tell, tell me about yourself, and tell me about Gregory. Well, I, and, uh, first, is it still written there? It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what would you tell someone on a first date? Uh, noting that you also are not planning any first dates anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not been as long as Adam, but even then, how many years has it been? Eight years. And I, uh, what would I tell someone on a I haven't the foggiest. I'll be honest. I mean, it was never I, mean I think the, the, the fact for all three of us is what we'd say on a first date is oh, sorry, we're, we're see you in a bit. That, that's, <laughs> hopefully that is a thing that we would mention quite early doors. Yeah. Just in the spirit yeah. of transparency above anything else, you know. Just to let you know that this is a problem. Yeah, it's not it's not Do a you wish to continue? revelation, is it? <laughs> um, I'm just laughing at the fact that when you asked Adam to describe his character, and I was like, well, I have written down that he's called Max and that he is a sexy college athlete. And so I expected to oh, be yeah, like, yeah. oh, I'll find out what he does because I didn't write that down. But no, it turns out that is just the... That's basically <laughs> that's, it. That's all yeah. Adam knows about himself. Yep. <laughs> the full summary. Um, I'm Alad. I play Grigory Petrov, and I am a um, belter, labourer, mechanic sort of engineering type. Um, and, well, I assume I am. I, I feel like I should be talking in the past tense. I was. Or, um, or, or because of the, uh, the podcast timeline, will be. Oh. Uh, because we have started to record our Expanse campaign, but it's yet to go out on the podcast. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I so also appear in that. This serves as a, uh, as a prequel. I can Maybe. multiple credits on IMDb. Yeah, Am I does that, that make me case, Martin this Freeman? Is a, this is like a, a, a non-canon story. It, it, you know, it's kind of up to you guys. <laughs> Who's a Martin Freeman? Martin Freeman, um, the Hobbit, uh, Bilbo. Uh, I mean, I'm the one who kind of looks panicked at the at the uh, uh, the camera, so probably me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most chaotic? That will be probably. you. Probably. But. Uh, mm. I'll let you carry it. Hey, I'll, I'll come about, up with an answer. Sorry about Grigory, and then we'll 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 wrestle this this adventure onto the tracks. Uh, I am working to um, send money back home to my family on Eros. That's my sort of why go. I'm out here doing what I do. All right, now I lean over the GM screen to do this. I think your bomber's pretty chaotic, isn't he? Feely and Keely are also pretty. Pretty chaotic. Dwalin, pretty chaotic. All the dwarves. Pretty much all the dwarves, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I, I can, I'll, I'll, I'll just be what, all the dwarves. We can remove the dying text from uh, uh, from the screen. Spoiler! So you're not anymore. Uh, that's not a spoiler. So we're not, that's, just, that's just a statement. We're not in Medius Res now. Uh, no, you are. We, in Medius Res, we're dying. starting in Medius Res. Uh, then we're the dying. two of you come round uh, <gasps> to... Um, you kind of as as consciousness kind of vaguely comes in you uh, uh you see kind of lights flashing past your head you hear muffled voices uh, you find moving very difficult uh, very difficult indeed uh and there's kind of just sort of really kind of blurred um you get the impression you're probably on some kind of spaceship but that's kind of all you get um, until you both lose consciousness again. And you do not know how much later when you find yourself uh, coming round in a very sparse looking cabin of of some kind of spaceship. It doesn't it doesn't look like the uh, the upkeep is, uh, is very high quality. And you. Uh, yeah, um, you find you can't move. How does the gravity feel? Oh, that's an excellent question. You are uh, you're under thrust, so um, what it, whatever ship you're on is accelerating. Coolio. Um, how do I feel in terms of my general fortune? Do I feel uh, so? Your fortune is is for the sake of argument restored. So you are you are a okay. full fortune. Uh, you are no longer suffering any uh, penalties. Is it worth me just 
getting rid of all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, it would suggest that it's been probably some time since the events some... of Wiglaf's betrayal. An amount of time has passed. Uh, an amount of time you are unable to establish. Are we in the same room together, or is it like individual? Uh, like, yes. Like, so... Is it like a prison cell, or is it like a hospital ward? Um, give me a perception seeing test. Okay. okay. Uh, so that's. Um... <sighs> Come on, Adam. You got it, maths. Um... While Adam's doing the maths, for, for anyone new to the system, to do any kind of test in the expanse, you roll 3d6, one of which is the drama die. Uh, you add your stat, um, so uh, there will be perception uh, with a bonus if uh, Adam has the seeing focus. He does not. Uh, sorry, if Max has the seeing focus, Adam doesn't have the seeing focus, we know that. Um, add that total and then... He's going to tell me the score and the value of the drama die, which says how good he did. But if his total was two, which he was kind of indicating, then he can't see anything. No, that's my bonus. Max, uh, uh, have so I it's... padded enough, Max, for you to tell me what your perception seeing score is? I was ready about half a second before you started talking. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, 11 bracket 6. Okay. Yeah, uh, looking around, you can see... Uh, Grigory. Grigory is um, tied to a uh, kind of hospital gurney with um, with sort of nylon straps. Sort of over, just over like his chest, or like arms down as well. Over his like... chest with uh, arms kind of above his head. But like, can like, so he can nothing move, like strap. His head doesn't appear to be strapped, but his arms, his legs, and his chest definitely are. Um, okay. You. By kind of process of extension, start to get the feeling that may also explain why you've got your hands above your head and why you're ah, difficult to move. Yeah, that um, makes the, sense. Uh, with Do the we have the drama die? You're pretty sure oh, yeah. that this is a um, you are you are definitely on some kind of spaceship. Uh, you could probably guess by kind of the, the nature of the acceleration, it's probably not spin gravity; it is thrust gravity, um, and yeah, you you see around, you see that there is only one. Uh, doorway in and out of this uh, this ship. So I'm getting uh, slightly more prison vibes, seeing as we're strapped up like this, rather than just like this. Uh, do we have uh, masks on, or is it like oxygen? Is it uh, is the room are, you are in a pressurized cabin? So you you can yeah, that's the word I was looking for. The, uh, uh, yeah, the atmosphere. Coolio uh, is is Grigory conscious? Uh, Grigory is is just kind of coming round. Grigory, are we dead? If this is the afterlife, I want to be dead again. I've got some more complaints. Yes, I need to speak. <laughs> if this is what yes. I've been working towards my whole life, then I'm bitterly disappointed with this. I, I would like this to. Speak is, this is not what I was promised. <laughs> In space, um, church, we were not promised this. That's what. That's what happens uh, in the future. Isn't it? Everything's just got space. Well, space I mean, according church, to the space cats. Of the expanse, um, most of the um, Earth's major religions seem to have spread to uh, uh, to the belt. And Mormons but it's space seem to church. Have, uh, it seems oh to yeah, they are. Yeah. So space Mormons definitely a thing. Uh, you space could Mormons. well be a space Mormon, Max. Mm, nah. But you don't have to be. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. I'd imagine. Yeah, well, we'll see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if, they, if it makes a difference to my character later. Your doesn't seem to. to Meet with uh, with with kind of Mormon values, but um, I'm Adam or Max. Um, I mean either, but uh, I think, <laughs> I think Both, specifically really. for this context, Max is. <laughs> um, I mean, I really did enjoy the Book of Mormon. I know that's not even close that to being <laughs> the sort of thing that confirms that maybe maybe your vibe, Adam, is a also very good theatre show. Not Mormon. Very entertaining. Um. Okay. Uh, are you are you all right, Gregory? Do you feel okay? Uh, I'll apart from I'm having, friend. apart from my hands being above my head, which is not how I would normally comfortably, you know, rest on a bed like this. Mm. Um. Yeah. I, I, not without yeah, Mrs. Gregory I... in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a surname, but I can't remember what your surname is. <laughs> so I just said Mr. Mrs. Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got uh, enough of the gist of what you. <laughs> I, I don't know if we know if there is a Miss, Mrs. Grigory. Uh, we, know, we know he has a family on Eros. That we do know that. Oh well, there must be at least a former Mrs. Grigory. No, we will. There's... Well, not necessarily. My family could be. Oh yeah, not necessarily my kids. Yeah, parents and yeah. Uh. I hadn't thought that far into my backstory. <laughs> oh gosh, now I'm having now my hands are above my head, head and I'm having an existential crisis as to what my reality I'm questioning is. Questioning your life decisions. <laughs> Why did I wait so long to have a kid? <laughs> yes, yeah. It's a bit late for it now. I've um, got other problems, Gregory. We're not. We can't deal with that again. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, sorry. Well, on the grand scheme of. On the scale of dead and not dead, I feel far more on the not dead side than I thought I would be. You you seem quite not dead. How about you, Max? How's, uh, I, I, how's I feel the not dead. Hold yeah. of head life. <laughs> Can I just try and like? I I realize probably it will fail, but just like a try and uh, yeah, as you kind of as force you my pull, way out, pull at it. You feel the uh, the straps kind of pull against your wrist, and you you reckon mm, you, these are these are not moving. They are, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a bit stuck. Should we? Should we just try and get someone's attention? Like, is that? I, I feel I'm like there's sure no other way of getting yeah. out of here. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're I going like to slink the, out without that's anybody. Where the... That's where the plot is shouting for help, I assume. So uh, <laughs> that's the next. That's the next mission objective has just has just popped up in Summon my uh, plot on my screen. <laughs> is a call for help. <laughs> I assume that, like none of the no other parts like legs and stuff are tied down as well. So it's not like I can uh, windmill my legs to I can do correct. some um, Your legs Morris secure. dancing while we're strapped up. You're secured <laughs> at the ankles and wrists and across the chest. Yeah, this very much seems like a there is no way out without the people who put us here. Is Bye. it relatively clean in here? It's just like um is it a bit dank? It's relatively. It doesn't look like a hospital. But it okay. doesn't look like a a prison that's kind of never cleaned or or this is not a sort of space dungeon. This so is... it could be, it could be like theory, like maybe like a police cell maybe. Could be. Um, the, a bit, maybe a bit less. The than items that. you're on are kind of more medical than security. The uh, the the kind of gurneys. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shall we? I feel like we we need to shout for help. I feel. I don't feel we've got any of the choice. <clears throat> uh, like, I don't see any way. Like I assume we don't have any. We're in our. We're in our normal. <clears throat> the clothes that we normally wear, but we don't have our. Stuff on us. Correct. Like, you don't. You don't have your stuff. A pistol. No. No. You are not no. armed. Although oh, it's. Oh, yeah, it's just in your hand there. Yeah. Oh, who was like... that? There? <laughs> yeah. Just hold on. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. You first. <laughs> Space room. Um, um. I start. Does Russia still exist? Does... Uh, uh, the Russian state, in and of itself, um, it, probably not. I think. Um, I think in the it's world all the UN. Yeah. Um, the well, there are obviously there are states within the United Nations are on Earth, but I think they they're kind of larger. Help! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello! You it... you shout for some time with, without yes. uh, any apparent response. Okay, um, wonderful. This is going to be the most dynamic adventure of your lives. Uh, no, At least we might not die. This we might die of starvation rather than well, yeah, uh, <laughs> this is a slow death and, compared to the last and, uh, one. Drone bullets. <laughs> oh no, a drone comes through the wall. Oh, Richard, <laughs> 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 can't defend ourselves. Oh yeah, you didn't correct. think it was difficult yeah. last time. <laughs> There'd be like a plus four because you're helpless. Uh, so <laughs> the um, yeah, the the door then uh, shh, slides open. <gasps> And uh, two people in um, kind of uh, loose-fitting uh, sort of oak coveralls come in. Uh, they both have tattoos on uh, like a bunch of their face. Um, uh. Could I have uh, an intelligence 
uh, from both of you, let's say uh, current affairs. Oh. Roll. Oh. And, uh, Grigory, you are an, um, uh, you're a belter, aren't you? So uh, give yeah. yourself a further plus two. Oh, no, I have to. Oh, hold on, I almost mathed properly there. So I've um, got a double. Okay. Can I do a stunt? Oh, I've got a double. <laughs> Not really, uh, but I'll give, you, I'll give you some extra information uh, okay. depending on your um, on your score. De- yeah, assuming so... it's a good enough score to to, have, to, so to pass got... this test. Thirteen, and I got a double. I got twelve brackets five. Twelve with a five. Twelve with double fives. Uh, no, 12 with the 5 on the drive die, the double 3. Okay, uh, so both of you recognise that uh, the tattoos are of a uh, one, of, one of the belter, kind of loose belter clans. Um, though, kind of belter. interestingly, none of them have any kind of OPA markings. Uh, they, they definitely do have kind of um, belter clans that you recognise as uh, one of the kind of on the kind of piratey end of uh, of Belter, uh, these okay. guys are criminals. Um, there is uh, there's two of them. They're, they're both both are say Belters, so kind of quite tall and, and gangly, uh, moving with with a. You can see they're both moving with a little difficulty under uh, under acceleration. Uh, it would seem that whoever is driving this wants to get somewhere relatively quickly, and. Uh, the uh, uh, the female of the two says, "Oh, they've uh, they've come round. It seems seems almost cruel, really." And the other one says, "Oh, don't don't get attached to them. Uh, sorry, uh, but in Belter Creole, so, uh, don't." Uh, can I remember how the voice? Come on, come uh, on. Yes, Adam you can. Really wants me to. Um, yes. There you go. Uh, uh, don't do, do not get at- attached. Uh, they, uh, um, uh, you know where they're going. Can um, I ask I... you to open your book up quickly, Richard, and go to page 50? Because I want to know what Super Sexy does. I don't think it's called Super Sexy. I think it's what I've got. Page 50, you have the ability Super Sexy. I, I think it's technically called Attractive, but I've, just, I've, yeah. just, I've written Super okay. Sexy. Uh, do you have it okay, at a novice, it. expert, or master level? Novice. Okay. Uh, your presence is as stunning upon the second impression as it is on the first. Excuse me. You can use the making an entrance social stunt a second time at any point of an encounter. Uh, hard to do that. Um, well, we'll look that up in a minute. Also, if an NPC could be attracted to you, their initial attitude is one step more favourable towards you. So, okay, you, um, yeah, you, you see that this. It, it's it's possible that the uh, the the female of the two belters might have uh, taken a bit of a shine to you. That's all right. I say, uh, excuse me. Mom, could you could you let us down, please? We mean we, we we're just we oh, we were just uh, you quiet. Uh, you're not you you not you not talk to uh, uh, to Silv and you not talk to me. You stay quiet. We 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 have no need to talk to you. I told you, uh, do not get attached. We- uh, we mean no harm. We're we're, we're oh, simple uh, travellers. Uh, no. You you know position to do harm. You be quiet, and he uh, slaps you across the face. Oh, can I just can I? <laughs> I'm just fully. I'm just... Can I give like puppy dog eyes to the? Uh, can I try my best to do like my puppy dog eyes towards the uh, the the lady one? The lady. Um, yeah. Person. Okay. So I think that's going to be. I might uh, fail on the first date. Um... <laughs> The female. <laughs> that is going to be a uh, what is it? It's sort of uh, I mean, communication. It's a communication maybe? seduction test. That's what it is. Yeah, which which I don't have anything particular of. I just yeah, have a one. You just you just. Well, got do it. I, but I get. Do I get like the bonus for like the the being slightly like the uh, whatever it was sexy. you said? Uh, Pretty much. The, no, but uh, her okay. her attitude towards you is already improved. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. 13 14 brackets 5 okay uh yeah as you kind of uh, so what what do you say to to the woman i don't just say anything i just kind of give her like okay like, trying to, like pr- just trying to to 
convey innocence and like, please help me. Like sort of general, sort of please let uh, me down kind of vibes. So uh, that makes any sense. Turns to turns to the other belter, um, uh, and he says, "Now you, you, you go soft on them. It'd be worse in the end. You, you know where we're going. Um, they're, they're alive. Check, check their vitals, and then we get out. Uh, we, we, um, where we going? They, they, uh, they just need the vital check. We, they, we need them alive, and then we get out." Uh, and Sil says, "Oh, but, but look at him." Look at his face, uh, and uh, I can't do it. Uh, uh, I kept trying. Uh, oh, Goyo, uh, his face, his face, the the least of his problems, um, and uh, he kind of pats you. They both kind of pat you down. Um, uh, kind of, they each um, take your pulse, and um, and kind of count your breathing, and. Then, uh, I, then I assume that I speak Belter Creole. Yeah. I'm not yeah, going yeah. to I, attempt. I, I, well, oh, I, please I, do. I do the voice, but yes, you, you, <laughs> you would fully understand all the kind of nuances in their language as well. And so I, I speak back to them like, yeah. so where, where, where is it we're going? Where, where are you taking us? Oh, you'll find out. Come, Sylv. Uh, and you could see Sylv kind of lingers just a little bit. Um, and, uh, and, and, and come on, like if you if we're gonna find out anyway, tell us now. You know, we're we're not going anywhere, are we? From like here, <laughs> I like what we're we gonna this do. This one, he he, the funnier of the two. Uh, I guess that one's a good looking, that one's a funny one. <laughs> and, and he kind of he makes his way out. Uh, Sylv kind of lingers at the door for a minute. I just kind of I just match her eye, and I'm like. Uh, give me a further <laughs> uh, communication seduction test. I'm very, oh, that's not as good. Uh, that's like a six. That's not very good at all. With it a really two isn't. brackets do to, to no. Do you want to spend some fortune manipulating? I don't think it? it's worth it. No. This early on. <laughs> it just burned in through which, all okay, <laughs> Sylv kind of like snaps out of it. It's like she would kind of lost in your eyes and then she's like, no, don't, don't get attached. Don't get attached. And, and, and <laughs> off off she goes. The door shoo, uh, uh, closes behind. Damn. I tried. Well, I, I feel like we've, we're none the wiser, really. Well, I guess the fact that we've been taken by pirates. Well, we're not dead, but I don't know if this is any better. We've been taken by belters, but they don't, they weren't OPA. Yeah, there's more on the do you pirate do you there. know like are you aware of any fringe groups in particular? Am I aware of any Belter fringe groups <laughs> based on the tattoos you know, that I saw? Like you know, there are a bunch of them. You wouldn't you weren't able to kind of pin down which kind of uh, which sort of pirate crew, but you you definitely from the kind of nuances of the tattoo, you were like the this is those are criminal gang tattoos. Um, yeah, so. It, yeah, in the same way that if you woke up in a, a basement in South Central LA and one of them had like a teardrop underneath their eye, you're like, "Oh, I'm in trouble." Um, yeah, <laughs> that, that that kind of vibe. These are these are crims. Crims. Do we know anything? Like, is is do we know? Is there like a slave trade kind of thing? Like, it uh, seems like that's where we're going. Like, you're not aware of a slave trade, but you wouldn't be. I mean, Max, you, you you don't know a huge amount about the belt, but um, yep. you, you understand that things are less civilized out here, and you wouldn't be that surprised to discover that there is a uh, that there was a slave trade uh, in, cool. in the belt. Wherever Just what you I want to hear in in it. Um, can I try and pull at the restraints? And... Uh, yeah. Give me a um, a strength might roll. Oh, I have that. What, <laughs> what does that mean? What do I get to add? So your strength is so your your ability will be strength, and then if you yeah. have the focus might, then you should add plus two to it. Okay. I got two sixes. 
Whoa. Um, Whoa. 12, 13, 17. 17. Four. And Max? 11. No. So, Max, as you pull, nothing happens, but you can feel the, the nylon strapping kind of starting it's to cut into your to, wrist. Yeah. Like, this is not good. Uh, Gregory, yours starts to give. Um, you start to feel it. It kind of something, something somewhere is bending or peeling away on your kind of right wrist as you pull. Uh, check because I know this has become important. Uh, is Grigory left or right-handed? Uh oh, I feel like this question has been asked before, and there must be canon on it. But I'm going to go left-handed because I'm okay. left-handed. The, the left one so that <laughs> something is giving somewhere. Um, you. The, the right one is not giving, so there must be some kind of flaw somewhere in it. I, I feel a, I feel a bit of movement. Hold on, let me just... And I try and um, pull on my left. I pull yep. the force into my left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give it an extra plus two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this better be a good... Oh, this one. Uh, right, that one's good. Uh... 10, 11, and then what am I adding? You said plus 2, 13, plus, two and plus strength. 4 again, uh, 17 again. 17 again. Yeah, the strap comes cool. away. Uh, you can see that there is a kind of, um, like whatever the secure kind of fastening underneath has now come off. So you now have a kind of loose strap around your wrist. As this happens, you feel yourself kind of floating up and then sinking down again. Uh, and you know that what has happened is the ship has flipped and is now burning to decelerate. You are halfway to wherever you're going. Uh, okay. <clears throat> or maybe a little bit closer than that, because the, the deceleration seems to be quite a firm burn. So you're, you're kind of... You, you, the, the ground He's overcooked it. You a little bit more than it was. Uh, Max, it's almost getting close to sort of earth normal something you have kind of not experienced for yep. a while but i'm more than comfortable, more than comfortable. oh you're you're more than comfortable gregory is maybe finding it a little bit harder but it's not it's not straining you to the point where we need to to, to take any rolls or anything which which wrist was it starting to catch for me does uh, it matter so are you right or left-handed I would be right-handed so the Adam right is right-handed. the one you were able to kind of pull harder because it's just it's a stronger arm Obviously, yep. when you work out, you work out both, but your right arm is yep. just stronger. Yep. Yep. Uh, so that is the one that's cutting in kind of more, uh, and you can kind of feel Fair it enough. starting starting to hurt. All right, I'm going to try just on the on the left then, just to yeah, because obviously I'm a bit like ooh. Okay. okay. Yep. Now so that I've seen now that I've seen Gregory do it, I'm like oh yeah, I can do it. Go for it. Uh, oh, that's a hell of a lot better. Um, <clears throat> Sixteen brackets five. Yeah, okay. Um, again, you start to feel it give. Oh, it's the left-hand side. It's terrible. Can I just try and f use the momentum and force it through? Yeah, g give it another go, adding plus two. Oh, oh, oh! I just rolled an 18. Bam, what does that mean? in your hand. I mean, uh, technically 22. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm telling you to add my bits hand. as well. You, both of you now have got your, your left wrist is free. I give I give Gregory away. Can I then like try and can I reach kind of a bit? Uh, give me. Yeah, um, do. Each of you give it, give a dexterity sleight of hand roll as you attempt to loosen your other wrists. Oh, that's all right. So five, eleven, thirteen. Yeah. Seventeen. You, Again. Yeah, both both of you managed to get the the other wrist. So um, obviously it's slightly easier for Gregory because he's left-handed uh, to to mm -hmm. loosen the strap on his right. Uh, but both of you uh, can loosen the straps, and if you wish, you can now uh, be completely free. Yeah, I just I just quickly just kind of like check on my wrist, just like is it? Yeah, it's alright. But okay, yeah, yeah. So there's 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 like a there's a mark. A little bit of like rope burn, kind yeah. of. Like that lovely nylon burn that you you can get, yeah. Um, but otherwise, you're all right. But yeah, if 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 it's just a case of saying yes or no, then yeah, I'll get myself out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the pair same. of you 
have, have loosened the straps and you are now free. Cool. Could we do a quick survey of the room? Is there anything we can like arm ourselves? Or just anything like of no at all? Ways. So the the objects in this room are two gurneys, uh, but uh, two small wrist straps. <laughs> That's it. That's the contents of this room. Oh, and uh, and two men. Can I wield Grigory as a weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Just like by his, hanging by his feet and just like <laughs> use him to hit Pro- people. Probably not in his gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, go. I guess I'm with A and B. Okay. That's the only thing that's stopping us. A and B is pretty um, good. I'm a brawler. Um, I have oh, got brawling gum, I think. Me too. Are we just the same character? Are we looking at the same sheet? <laughs> We're just, okay. we're literally. Because I've got two mine, sides I've got the same coin. <laughs> Yeah. You might, what, I'm the funny one, you're the sexy one. Have taken the, the, the brawler. Um, the have you got ship. free fall and stealth as well? No, I have free fall and engineering. Ah, okay, I have stealth. There you go. Okay, fine. Um, well, on that note, can we get the door open then? Let's obviously. So there, there doesn't progress. seem to be any kind of lock on the door. That you can you can access is is there a handle or a no slider the, or the the door is is clearly controlled from not inside. Is there like a little window, or like Vent. a port porthole? There is there is no window or porthole. Uh, there are the, there is an air vent, but it's quite small. You you wouldn't be able to uh, um, you wouldn't be able to crawl through it, even if you could get the, even if you had a screwdriver and could get the plate off. Um, I press the hint shortcut key and wait to see what glows in the room. Okay. You, you you watch you watch an advert for thirty seconds and then you, <laughs> you get some coins <laughs> on, a, on a hint. <laughs> I, love, I love that Adam's in a freemium game and Alid is in a uh, is in a triple A title. Um, <laughs> so um, in lieu of, of a uh, of a a hint message coming up. If you were to look this up on um, uh, on some kind of walkthrough on website, yeah. you would know <laughs> that you have some time before the door opens again. And uh, if if anyone is coming uh, to inspect you or collect you, they will come through that door, and you will need a plan for when that happens. Okay. Now I've got two things in mind. Okay. Either uh, go for option two first. I, I pick. I pick option two. Don't okay, care what it option... is. We'll do option two. Oh. Well, I feel like can we not? Well, I think we have time to. No, no, no. Have this option, two. option two. <laughs> With Head first, can't back, lose. Come on. Lie back Before down we... on the beds to Fine. make it look like we are still <laughs> <laughs> still strapped in, uh, and then when they come. To us, we leap. Okay. Um, or we hide in such a way that I know I say hide like there's lots of places to hide, but stand either side of the door so when they come in, quick, yeah, give them an A B. I feel like the bed option was that option two. That was, option. that was option two. That oh, good. Option. Okay, I'm glad I picked option two. Then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm glad I picked option two, because I think option two is the best. It's the least suspicious. It's the more surprising, I feel. Um, well, yes, I suppose it keeps them off their guard when they come in. For a little longer, yeah. We can at least get them in the room before. And maybe yep. they can. we can make them, we can limit reinforcements, maybe, temporarily. Hopefully the door closes. Did the door close behind them when they came in and took our... Um, no, it didn't. I, I think I think, I think think the gurney idea is the better one. Yeah, it's... Because, me as... because we, can, we, could, we could strap in such a way that we can use the, the, the handguards as like sort of slashing weapons, kind of. As, as, as we leap from the gurneys, we can sort of whip them in the face. Improvised weapon check? 
Is that a thing in uh, uh, there Expanse? There are absolutely rules for improvised weapons. I'm not entirely Wicked. sure that a nylon strap will give you much in the way of an advantage. No, but it's like a, it's more of like a whip to the like, ah! There'll be a bit more momentum <laughs> yeah, it to it. It might sting a bit, yes. Uh, yeah, well, that's all we need. We just need the element of surprise, that's all it is. Okay, I'd like you to both give me uh, a either communication disguise or communication deception mm -hmm. test or mm -hmm. sleight of, uh, dexterity sleight of hand test as you attempt to kind of disguise the fact that you are not properly secured to these beds. Okay, 11 um, brackets, 5. 11. Okay. Um, yeah, so after some time, shoo, opens the door and Sylve comes into the room. Uh, she's oh, hey. a, uh, like a drinking bulb. Uh, and she says, Look, I, I'm really sorry about, about all this. It's, you know, I'd say nothing personal, but I, I know what's going to happen. Uh, so uh, uh, I, I got you. You, you suffer for a drink. Uh, no, no reason why oh. you suffer. Oh, thank you so much. What I'm trying to do now, I've decided. Yeah. Is I want to get her attention in such a way that she turns her back a bit on Grigory. Yep. I realise this is metagaming, but yeah, we're here yeah, now. No, it's, it's, that's, that's absolutely um, fine. It, your intention is now. to try and distract her. Um, to distract her so Grigory can get to the door. I'm trying to. I'm going to try and reverse interrogate her while Grigory secures the zone, is my thought. Okay. I want to get as much information out of her mm -hmm. while she's sort of a bit softer, for lack of a better yeah. word. Okay. Emotionally softer. A communication um, persuasion test. And then With tell me some bonuses. Answer. Uh, so uh, it doesn't, if I can't, if I get a double, it, does it matter that it's on the drama die? Uh, no. I don't... But, I think the way I asked ask that question means I don't still don't have an answer, but never mind. <laughs> okay, it, do it doesn't question. D Doubles are doubles, whatever they are. Okay, okay, fine. Um, so that's a 5, 6, <coughs> 11, plus 1, plus the any bonuses you want to give me. So 12 plus any bonuses you want to give me because uh, I'm okay. super hot. Yeah, um, um, we'll with a 3... As as a kind of open, we'll give you plus one. Um, okay, dogs, that's fine. Uh, where are my comms ones? I just had it up. So social is that what I want? Social stunts. Yep, that will be the place. Yeah. So I've got three dogs. So okay, I'm going to just go straight out and say, let's make a deal. Okay. Your action turns out to benefit. A ca oh no, that doesn't really work. Cause I'm just asking a question. Okay, this is how I'm gonna I'm gonna meta game the thing. Yeah. And I'm gonna use hidden message, okay. which is your words convey a different meaning to one person than everyone else. Yeah. So in my way of asking her information, Gregory will Gregory will know, oh, don't knock her out just yet. Okay. So that's that's my getting yeah. away with meta game. So I'll, I'll use what, the stuff yes. for that. While that's um, happening, Gregory, what are you up to? Are you gonna stay on the gurney or are you gonna move? <laughs> Uh, well, I was going to, I, I know <laughs> the metagaming was to go <laughs> get the door, but in my mind, I was going to, um, knock out, um, Sylve, but okay, so hearing right. the hidden message. With the hidden message, yeah. But with um, the hidden message, I won't. Okay. So are you getting out um, of the gurney? That's the, that's the big question. Let's say that she is turned no. in such a way. Max has managed to turn her in such a way that she's not looking directly at you now. So it's more concerned about the noise you would make. Yeah. If you can do it uh, quietly, you'll be fine. No, because I don't. I don't think I can secure the door from the inside, and I think, given that you could get information out of her before we cause chaos, mm -hmm. I'll remain. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Sit you. So yeah, so I rolled a just to get back to the point. I rolled a, what would be a thirteen with your plus one. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just going to ask her. Oh, th I was like, oh, thank you so much. And I sort of, I'm, I'm trying to sell the thing about being strapped up. So I was like, that, that, yep. take a drink of a little of a little <laughs> sippy cup kind of thing that she's giving me. 
Okay. Oh, it's, thank you very much. <laughs> it's some kind of alcohol. Uh, oh. It's it's like is, is it uh, probably Grigory would recognise belter juice. That is to say, some kind of spirit that has been uh, distilled on board a spaceship. Um, maybe it's mushrooms is the original source of sugar. Uh, it's it's something that's been grown in a vat and then turned into alcohol in a way that is not very controlled and has a decent chance of sending you blind if you drink too much of it. But it, okay. it's real strong. Uh, and she's okay. like, uh, no one should go to... Uh, uh, what, what, what happened to you uh, sober? Oh, please, just tell me what's going to happen. Tell me, tell me where we're going. Just... I don't mind. Just tell me. You, you see, kind of pauses, and she says, "Well, uh, bad news for you. Uh, <laughs> a rich man. He won't. He won't buy. Uh, he won't buy humans. Uh, live subjects. So uh, that's that's you. You got, this you is got what? a rich man's space station. Quite quite a subject. I kind of it's a, it's once. This is one subject he will certainly want." Um. Uh, well, I, 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 don't, I, I don't think man uh, he cares so much about how handsome uh, Koyo is. Uh, uh, no. You think I'm handsome? Uh, I have, and I, I just sort of, I just sort of, I just kind of just sort of, oh. uh, uh, do you actually flutter you? <laughs> but obviously I'm like, oh. You're like okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that's brilliant. I think that's she says. I got, I got eyes, Koyo. Uh, you, 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 good-looking man. It's a shame. Yeah, and I just trying to, just kind of, go, is there a more? And I just have sort of a look at Grigory. Sort of, obviously, very sneakily, Grigory knows exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. A more private quarters we could spend or, some uh, time we, in. We, you, you, not got long uh, on, on, on this ship now. Uh, no, no, well, no, then, no well, time for that. I why not get... spend? Means okay. you don't have a lot of time to take advantage. Uh, give me make another, the most of the situation. Uh, this is going to be a big one, but give me a communication seduction ah, test. I think I should also have some big bonuses for this. I feel like I've nailed this so far. I mean, she is. You're at plus one because she is open um, to you. But I feel uh, like my flirted has gone very well. I don't flirt this well with my wife. <laughs> this is good for me. <laughs> I flirt with you better than my own wife, Richard. Take something out of that. <laughs> I don't know what I'll take out of that, but I have a feeling it will haunt my nightmares, Adam. But uh, give me that's another... Um... Okay, that's not bad, actually. Um, what's my number? Sorry, where's my number gone? Uh, I think it's, oh, it's just a one. Okay. Uh, so that's 12, 15, plus whatever you want to give me. Uh, 15 plus 1, 16. Yeah, well, I'd men mentally gone, this is going to be challenging. That's that's a 15. Um, Lovely. She says, "Oh, what, what, what the heck? Uh, um, look!" Uh, and she reaches, uh, kind of, she pops out. She leaves the room for a moment, comes okay. back in with a sheet, uh, which she covers over you. Don't move. We, we, we get away with this. But I, there's only so much I can help you. You, you expected at the other end. No, no. no. And uh, I'm, I mean, I'm all in your hands. Well, yes, that's very literal. And she <laughs> uh, she wheels you out of the room. Um, Grigory, there is a sort of window of opportunity if you want to make slip. a dash for the doorway before it closes. Don't leave me alone with this window. <laughs> <laughs> that's my uh, other hidden message. It's going to for that one. <laughs> um... Oh gosh! Yes, I. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to walk in on what's happening here? I, I, I feel like well, the problem is once four closes, I am stuck in here again, and yeah. um, there is nothing I can do. Uh, so yes, I, I quietly make a dash for the door and like put my foot in the way. Yeah. Literally okay. put your foot in it. Um, so give me a. So uh, are you doing this stealthily in an attempt to not get caught, or are you just? Is it up and out? Yeah, I'm not running after her to be like, come back. I'm kind of like, I don't want to be locked in the room. Yeah. Okay, uh, give me a, a dexterity stealth test. That's a face. That's a good. Um, so 
she's quite distracted. She whips around because I've just I've just rolled big numbers here. Uh, oh. She whips round and goes, <clears throat> "What? Go on!" Uh, to see you. You are now up and and out of your gurney. Um, she has got a sheet over you, Max, but you hear her say, "Oh, what? What? Go on! No, uh, you, you, you cannot." At, at which point, I quickly jump up and just try and like grapple her while like covering her mouth, okay. so that silence her, but also kind of roll for initiative. That is perfectly fine. <laughs> Um, Why don't I roll that? Roll for initiative. You said to do that. Why did uh, I roll that? <laughs> do you get any extra for rolling triple? No, uh, unless it's triple sixes, mm-hmm. which I did triple get before. Um, uh, yeah, that's not. So Where's did, my initiative? I've lost it. Did anybody beat sixteen? That's uh, what do I add? Um, <laughs> is that what she rolled? Yeah. Oh no! What do you add? Oh no! You add dexterity. Uh, and oh, okay. Plus a further two if you have the oh, yeah. uh, the initiative focus. No. Uh, no. You got seventeen. Yeah, well, I rolled triple five, and then I've got a plus two on my dexterity. You're rolling right? so well today, Alex. So wow. it's Grigory. What did you get, Max? Oh, I got like a nine. Terrible. Okay, so it's Grigory. I'm lying down. That's so... my excuse. And then Max, uh, Grigory. You see, she is she she has seen you. Um, I want to. My intent is. I want to let you know. My intent is to whirl her round into the room. Yep. And close the door. Okay, so like, you want that's you want to my... you want to grab her, get her mm. in the room. You on the outside of the room. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, give me a. Um, so this is a fighting brawl, and it sounds like. Yeah, to me. it sounds like a fighting, fighting, uh, brawling or grappling, depending on whether you're trying to uh, kind of get control of her or just throw her into the the room. Throw into the room. Just throw in. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that. Oh, that's a face. That's a face. Uh, let's see if. Uh, now I've got to do maths. Um, that is so 20. Whoa, okay. Two sixes yes. and a um, five. You, you, sl- you slam her into the uh, into the room, she kind of falls sprawling down. Um, she obviously so that that's that's your kind of action for the turn. She springs up, um, kind of gathers her thoughts. And lunges towards the door. Max, you're under a sheet on a gurney. So obviously, my initial reaction was to jump up and grab her, but obviously, as I jump up, she's not there. Correct. But I assume I can see Grigory at the door. Yep. With her in the door, and I can be like, oh, okay, yep. fair enough. Uh, is there like a big red button or something I can just quickly there's, slam? There's a, there's a lock panel. If you were to give me an intelligence security test. As you oh, attempt I'm the wrong to secure to do the that. door. Um, big rolls. Big rolls. Oh, I mean, I probably still won't be enough. You uh, can always spend fortune. Oh, yeah, yeah but. Uh, nah. Um, 12? Uh. I'm gonna Close say no. Surely, surely. You, you, you kind of just yeah, stab what? at it, but nothing happens. Um, can I spend some fortune? You can. Yep. You need a fifteen to uh, to get this door closed in uh, no time at all. So you'd have to spend five minimum. No, I'd, I well. Oh, no. No. Yeah. I'd have to. No, I'd I'd have to do something else. Uh, well, what did you roll on your day? I rolled a four and a six on my normal and a one on the drama, so I think I'd have to put the drama up to a four. Yeah, so that would be a, that would be ten. Would be eight. Because... What? Ten. Uh, so if you needed up to a four, it would be eight. Yeah, because it's double yeah. for the uh, for the drama yeah. die. Um, but then I would have a double with four stunt points, so I could recover some fortune back. You could, yeah. So I will do stuff. that. Top so three. I will net spend. I will net spend because I can only use three counter. So that's fine. Correct. Yeah. I will net spend five. Yep. Spend eight to get it up to a four. Spend three of them. I'll just leave the one. Um, 
Okay. So I'll write that down. <coughs> uh, so so what, what I'll say is that you not only lock it, but you, uh, with your extra stunt point, you change the code. Oh, wicked. <laughs> is, is there... Is there... I don't, I, I'm assuming there isn't, because they would have just used it before, maybe. But is there a, a comm system through the door? Um, yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, okay. And I'll just try, say through the door, I say... What was it? Sil, sil, Sylvie? Sylv. 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 And I'll just say, Sylv. I'm sorry. And then I just, I just shut it down. Okay, uh, so you you kind of so as you can open it, you see her face. She is kind of kind of whirling around, um, but she like what what's Stop. she going to do? There's there's simply nothing she can do. Um, hello, Benji. Hello, Benji. Uh, Bernie has also come to join me. Oh, also Ames. <laughs> People are waving Ames. Everyone's <laughs> waving. Uh, Ames is waving. Um, okay. So, you are outside. What can we see? Do you have with you a sheet, a gurney, <laughs> and the two of you? And you've overcome a challenge, so we'll uh, we'll crank up the churn. And of course, you spent stunt points, so we'll crank up the churn. And I spent three stunt points. Does yeah. that? Oh, is it? Yeah, that's all done. Well. Yeah, um, the four are, uh, When a character it's not about spending stunt spends points. Spends four or more stunt points to perform. Ah, okay, a fair enough. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Never mind. Cool. Um, well, yeah, what what can we see? Is it just a, is it just a corridor? What's so? Yeah, this is what's, a um, what's the sitch? This this is a this is a pretty grubby uh, ship. You would reckon there's probably a, a few levels. It's, it doesn't seem to be a massive ship. Um, you yeah. So that the the this level has uh, maybe another couple of rooms. Um, on this level, it's kind of there's like three rooms, doors all look the same, and then there's a lift up or down. Is there like a terminal or something we can just sort of not hack into, but just like to get some information about where we are, what the ship is, or is it pretty much just like a dormitory sort of? Yeah, it's, it's living much level, like residential no, level. This, this isn't like a a cruise ship where you'd be like, "Where am I?" and "Where's the nearest bar?" Um, yeah. that, that information is <laughs> is not available to you. I feel we should probably check these other rooms just to make sure there's no one else before we suddenly just go and then she gets out and it's a whole thing. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna open one but of those, uh, so it, might it, I suggest I do it stealthily? Because I have a stealth thing. Uh, oh. yes. And then you can come in with A and B if it goes wrong. Well, I was thinking I've got the gurney that I could use to ram into someone if they... Even out. better. But I'll open, I'll open the door stealthily, and if nothing mm -hmm. happens, we move on. If something does happen, A and B. Okay. Um, you... So how many rooms have we got? So there's two rooms. <clears throat> uh, it will take... Not the... counting the one we've done. Not counting the one you've done. There's two more. Uh, it will take a security test to try and get the door open. You are going to have to use some kind of hacking skills. What the hell? Can we I have, have engineering yeah. skills. Th those will not get you in. I have free fall skills. <laughs> and that I will allow you to do it even if the ship is uh, on the float. Uh, do I have, I have scouting? Re re -roll. Oh, I can re roll stealth. That's even better. Uh, I have free quick reflexes, free ready, whatever that means. Um, yeah, should page reference more attention to, to look that. it up. Fifty-seven. I think it kind of means that uh, I can kind of do something at the start of combat, I assume. But uh, fifty-seven. It's um, quick reflexes. reflexes, novice. Once per round on your turn, you can use a ready. Use ready as a free action. Don't know what ready is, cool. but you can do that as a free action. We'll worry about that later. I feel like <laughs> that that's a like that's a problem. that's a meat space problem. I feel that um, does feel like a meat space problem. So yeah, I'll just try yeah door number one, whichever one you want to allocate door number one to. Yep. Uh, so that's eleven. That's just to get the door open, full stop. Doesn't open. You you think you're going to struggle okay. to? Uh, that's to fine. That. I'll just leave that one then. 
Door number two. Yep. Uh, also eleven. Okay. Also doesn't open. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, is there? I'm assuming the answer is no because okay. you're a, you're a DM and it's just a DM will just say no just to make their lives easier. <laughs> I know. <laughs> is there a way to? To position the gurney in a way that sort of Jimmy's one or both of the doors, so that at least like one of them can't. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I called it. Yeah, because uh, they hide, don't they? Rather than yeah, I don't know. So it's like a yeah, whatever. Uh, I mean, unless you want to try googery, I can't I can uh, get these doors open. Give me a perception hearing test, the both of you, please. Uh, a twelve. Yes. Uh, Max, you can hear the lift coming. Is there like so? It, is it is it circular where we are? Like, I'm imagining uh, it's circular. It, but it's probably it's not. circular-ish. Yeah. Is is be... there like, for lack of a better word, an alley we can hide in, or is it? Um. You it like won't between work for two long, rooms, but there's a sort of you can you can maneuver yourself so that, that as someone comes out of the lift, they won't immediately see you. Yeah, yeah, it's more the element of surprise. Yes. quickly try and work out who the hell they are before we jump them, basically. Yeah, what happens if one of us hides yeah. on the gurney? I feel like the gurney is going to be first point of. Oh, can we in, instead of that put the gurney down the other end so they will instantly go, What's that gurney? Go to the gurney, we get behind them. Complete. Sorry, just to completely. No, that's a no. I, I like that. Can we do that instead, please? The, yeah. Just literally, literally, just put the gurney right down the other end of the mm-hmm. that, so they can see it, obviously. But so their intention will <laughs> instantly be drawn to that. What the hell's that doing there? Okay. In the hope that it'll distract them from us, so we can jump them. So the way the deck While is constructed, high. as the door opens, they will see the gurney. There are kind of two spots that will sort of be in blind spots, where the cool. two of you could wait. Perfect. You arrange That's that what we shall do. hurriedly. The yep. door shoo, opens, and you see the other the the other belter pirate that that you saw earlier yep. steps out and goes, "Sylv, what take you so long? I know he's handsome and all that, but what what? Hey, what?" And he sees the gurney, and he starts to run towards it. At which point, just we jump. jump. You jump. Jump. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's have. I feel like we get like su- surprise round. Is yeah, that not a yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll, sweet. we'll roll initiative <laughs> to work out our initiative. Uh, kind of, and then Whoa, we'll that's go better. Uh, I mean, for me, it's good, but I feel like. Oh, do we get uh, stun points on initiative? No. They're all double. Did oh. anybody beat 11? Yes. I got 12. I got more than that. Okay. Oh. I got nice. 14. Ooh. Grigory. And then. The uh, and then the pirate. Okay. So Max, you you. I'm literally in. just gonna jump in and just clock him. Just just straight okay. up, bang, quick, bang. Yep. Give me no a, messing about. Uh, an unarmed strike. Roll then. That should be on your character sheet. Those are some numbers that are big. Um, okay. Well, that's a seventeen on the dice. Give me a minute. Yep. So oh, that's a twenty-one. Oh. I'm gonna oh, with a double with a five on the drama die. Yep. I'm I'm gonna uh, so you've hit. Have you stunted? Wicked. Uh I, I think so. I need to find stunts do, now. Do what, you think any of those two numbers match? Uh, yes. Okay, so you have stunted. Excellent. Yes. Uh so you 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 clock this guy. Oh lethal blow. Boom. Yep. Uh, so deal an extra two d six damage on the attack. So I think I do one already. So it's just three d six damage. Go for it. Roll for damage. Three d six plus two. Wicked. Um, come on, big numbers. And that's that's an extra chain point, by the way. Okay. All sixes. So that is eleven. Thirteen. All right. Yep. Yeah, uh, you clock him good. You uh, clock him real good. You watch him uh, kind of stagger, uh, almost losing his balance for a minute. Uh, Gregory, you can follow this up. 
I also go for him in a vicious fashion, but not quite as vicious. What am I fighting? Uh, yep. So a Was fighting it? melee uh, roll. Oh yeah, you got you got brawling, haven't you? So you'll just just clock him. I've got brawling. Yep. Yeah. 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 So we can yeah, just clock him. Focus. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen then. Thirteen. Yep. Uh, that is a hit. Roll for damage. Wicked. Uh, which will be one d one d three. One d three plus your strength. So you roll a d six and halve it plus your strength. Uh, three. Okay. Uh, you you catch bone or something. You Ooh. while you land. You you reckon it may have hurt you as much as it hurt him. <laughs> Ow. Uh, so he was surprised by that, and we'll go to the top of the round, and it's amazing. Murders. Lovely work. Right. So after basically already knocking his block off, I'm yep. going to re-knock his block off. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe not this time. Uh, so I get plus four anyway, so that's it. Okay, I'm going to spend four, but then I'll get one back, so I'll actually spend three to get me to four, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen's a hit. Good. But I spent a little bit of fortune just to get there, um, and then it's just my normal d6 plus one. Six. No, seven. Sorry, seven. Seven. Because I get plus two, not plus one. I couldn't read my own handwriting. Uh, so having followed him up with a, a kind of clock on the back of the head, you give him a dig in the ribs, uh, and he, nice. goes, he he sort of oof, you can see he's he you, you've hurt him, he's still up, but you have hurt him, Grigory. Uh, I go for another rough. Oh, no, nah, I don't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rolled I rolled two ones. No. With an air shot, you you don't catch him. Uh, at which point the pirate turns to Max. Uh, and says, or oh, you in trouble now. I like it when they fight. And uh... Cholo would like through like raspy, like really raspy. Like... Oh yeah, he's he's trying to cover yeah. up the fact that he's been, he's been winded. He's like, oh. <laughs> really sore. <laughs> um, so that is uh, 10, 11, 12. and he is holding a uh, he's holding some kind of like a, a billy club. Uh, he's twelve to hit. Has that hit? My defense is twelve, so I assume yeah. that's a yes. So, yeah, he catches you. <clears throat> For um, uh, seven Three minus damage? your toughness. Oh, okay, that's okay. okay. Cool. And it's your yep. turn. <gasps> oh, big mistake! Uh, you know that now, block that you've just found. Now things it's are going to come entirely back. different. Oh, oh, oh so that's. Fourteen. Yeah, that's a hit. You, you know his defense is fourteen, so you know yeah. fourteen is a hit. Oh, minimum damage three. Three. Yeah. Um. What? Once again, yeah. he's he's kind of he, he's got his guard together. Um. Having, having just kind of clocked you, he sort of holds up a, a defense, and you you don't get past it. Um. While while cool. you kind of make contact, you you haven't really landed a blow. Grigory. I don't think there's anything I can. Of no, um, that's do we not some sort of like flanking bonus? Is that 40. not a thing in this game? Uh, it is not, should be 14 to hit, <laughs> 14 to hit, then uh, 1d3, Just three again. <laughs> Uh, also, again, while while you make contact, you ha you haven't done any damage. This guy this guy's quite hard. Uh, mm. Who'd have thought the uh, the hardened space pirate turns out to be hard? Um, he this time turns to to Grigory and says, "Ha, huh, you thank you. <laughs> you neither lover nor fighter, huh? And uh, oh yeah, it's you. Uh, I'm going to assume because uh, that's sixteen. Yeah." So that is uh, six points of damage as he uh, cracks you on the kind of side of the head with his club. 
Minus two toughness. Minus two from your toughness, correct. One, two, three, four. Okay. Max? Yep. Uh, that block. Once again, attempting to remove. Yeah. Uh, that's better. Is it? Is it 13 or more? I think it's 19. If that's I do my maths correct. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Not my own damage, please. Oh, that's better. Uh, seven. All right. Yep. Yeah, he's starting to. You, you've, you've, you've burst something in his face because there's blood coming out of his nose. Good. Uh, he doesn't look happy. Grigory. Um. <clears throat> I keep on looking to see if I've got anything of. But I keep on just seeing pistol, and I'm like, I don't have pistol. You, you do not have pistol. No. Um, I'm just going to have to carry on. Now it is just a full-on... It is a brawl. Yep. Five, seven, eight... Eleven. Eleven's not enough. You could spend fortune to hit thirteen if you wanted. If you have twelve... If you rolled eight, you should have twelve, shouldn't you? No. No, because I've only got one fighting plus two brawl. Oh, sorry. Um, what do I have to get to? Thirteen. Uh, I spend three fortune. Mm-hmm. Regretting this, three fortune to get to thirteen. Okay, uh, you've hit. I thought there's a D3. Um, four. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Uh, so once again, he, he, he's just, he's rock hard, this bloke. He's big and he's hard and you're not making any impression on him. Uh, he smiles again at you. And uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, it's twelve. Yeah. Um, he, he misses you I've... this time. Overconfidence, he swims, uh-huh. but you manage to duck out of the way of the uh, of the the club. I'm just checking. Mm-hmm. Um, page fifty-eight. While you do I've that, self def- Well, yeah. What what does ready turn. mean? So ready is like getting out a weapon, um, so, something like that. It's normally That's a minor action, really. and it's a free action if you're super dodgy. It's not really relevant in this one, I feel, because I've not got a weapon. Um, I have a self-defense style. Where's uh, it gone? Okay, that should, there should be a page reference with that. I can look that up while we find out. Yeah, page 58. Page 58. <gasps> but it says, Something big is about to happen. If someone misses say. melee, then I can grapple, knock pro. When a melee attack misses you, you can use the grapple action stunt as a reaction without spending any stunt points. Um, in addition, you can perform the knock prone action stunt for one stunt point instead of the usual two against an opponent you have grappled. So if you want to grapple him, you, you can go ahead and do that as a reaction. Yeah, I want to grapple him in such a way that um, <clears throat> Max can then just Hit him whilst yep. I've got him in place. Okay, good, good, good. good. Grapple. Um, Role-playing, doesn't matter what you do, always comes down to uh, what is the grappling rules? 47, so it's <laughs> focus. We're going to say <coughs> talent, 50, not talent, stunt. That's what we want. Did the 132, combat. perhaps. Oh, no, those that's spaceship grappling. Grapple style talent 52. Let's see if that will enlighten this. If not, I'll make something up because no one wants to see me flick through a rule book on Twitch. Um, even Hublu wouldn't stick around for that. So, um, grappling style. Uh, if you fail an opponent, uh, oh, so it's just a fighting grappling roll. So, go for it, make a fighting grappling roll. Fifteen. Um, 
yes, you've got hold of him. Her. Him. Him. Sorry, I'm thinking of, of Sylph, who you've shoved in a cupboard. And so they take a two minus two defense penalty okay. at the beginning of my next turn. At the beginning of your next turn. Okay, so in between, while you're kind of getting hold of this person, Max, you uh, uh, you're going to attack them. Right, well, I've already rolled. Yep. And I rolled a 14. So you've hit. With six stunt points. Okay. So my question is, because this determines what I do, has the target lost half or more of their fortune? Yes. Then I'm going to use the knockout stunt, please. Okay. Uh, your attack imposes an unconscious condition so long as its damage exceeds the target's toughness. So I need to roll damage still, that's fine. You do. You but I'm also going to then use two... I'm going to use two to recover some fortune because I feel like I need two. Because okay. I've got two more extras. But that's four on the thing, by the way. So you need to do uh, your magic. Yep. Um, so what do I need to roll to do this? You need to get more than four damage. So I need to roll more than two. So I've got a 66% chance of doing this. There you go. Is it more than four? Uh, what does it, it says you need to exceed their toughness. Yes. Then yes, you need more than four. Can I spend fortune on a damage roll? You can't, no. Oh, then I got exactly four. Okay. Oh. You ring this guy's bell, but uh, he is still in the fight. That could have just ended it straight there. Yes, it could have done, if, if you'd rolled literally anything else. One more. Grigory, you've got hold of this bloke now. Um... He is at, at minus two <laughs> defence. Yeah. But I guess because I'm grappling it's now... Um, do, is it another contest, contested fight roll? Um, no, you can... Uh, so you've got hold of him. If you want to just punch him, then you can do that. Uh, well, I... Punch him then. Go for it. Um, twelve. Twelve uh, is a hit because he's at minus two. Three damage. He <laughs> just you, he's, he's just really hard. Um, you you just weren't prepared for him to be as hard as this. Uh, he is going to attempt to get out of the. Um, this grapple. Um, so that is a uh, fighting against your grappling. Um, uh, of which... To... Oh, I've just worked out another thing I could have done that basically would have meant I guaranteed to knock him out. So <gasps> 15 in an attempt to get out of this. 15, I yes. rolled. You rolled a 15. Okay, so he doesn't manage to, to, to beat you. Um, I rolled two sixes, so... I, I don't, don't know if that... that that doesn't do anything. Um, I also got two sixes, um, but it also doesn't do anything. It would be a one on the drive. Does that mean that so I get? It would be one stunt point if it was a success, but it wasn't. Um, so it is now Max's turn. Uh, I feel like it's block knocking off time. Uh, let's get on with it. Oh, okay. So there's two stunt points there. Okay, brilliant. I'm going to use them. Because I've just found another stun, which would have been very useful in the last one. Overcome toughness. Against the attack's damage, against this attack's damage, the opponent's toughness is considered to be half. Okay. So I'm half in his toughness, but I rolled like a 16, so I know I'm fine there. Um, so his toughness is two. So I should, I guarantee to do damage here, at least. Okay. Whoa. Seven. Seven points of damage. So that's like five damage. So that's five damage. Yeah. Damage, as the French would say. Damage, as French? role players have been saying forever, but I don't think French people do. Um, okay, yeah, he, he's. You can see he's sort of blinking, trying to stay in the fight here. Grigory. If I'd have combined that with that, yeah, with that <coughs> knockout, it would have been perfect. Correct. Yeah. Oh well. Um. The thing is, I, I, in order to, 
cause damage to him, I need to roll six, I think. Okay. As in, if it's th if it's a D three, mm -hmm. I have to roll six to get a three on that dice. Yes. Because then you do one damage. A five yeah. or a six. Yeah. Oh no, I can't do any damage to him. Oh no, I've got plus two. Five or six, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I punch him and hope I roll big. Uh, well, I rolled um, 14, 15. That's a hit. Um, and then I would like to roll a five or a six. But I rolled a two, so that's a one. <laughs> Once so again, you're, three. you're punching him. There the seems to be, in the, as the kind of light fades from this guy's eyes, his pupils are dilating himself, there seems to be a certain amount of satisfaction that he can still take whatever beating you can hand out. Um, <laughs> he he spits blood and then attempts to free himself. Uh, so again, uh, fighting grappling. Um, he is 16. Oh, yeah, I roll 14. He manages to wrench himself free, and you can Damn. see he's very unsteady on his feet. Um, he he shouts, Sylv, where you at? Uh, Max. Uh, let's shut him up. Let's not shut him up. Uh, you know you will what be to do after right this encounter, because that's yeah, how the rules work, um, so you will recover some fortune. I'm just working out exactly what I would need to do. So that's five, nine. I'd need to turn that up to like... What's it, 13? 13. So I need to get to that four, eight. I need to make that a five. I mean, I'm going to have to do it. Yeah, so that's five. Uh, lovely, but I am looking a bit thin now. Okay, um, you're using up your fortune. And that's, oh, okay, that's six on the damage, Dennis. Yeah, uh, you lay him out. Ha ha! Suck it. Um, first, my first question is, if you don't mind, Grigory, can I take his armour? Because I would like some of that. That toughness, please. No, he's just rock hard. Um, he's just wearing a set of coveralls. Oh, okay, uh, never just... mind. Check. Can I, I take his clothes off him just for humiliation purposes? Just, 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 yeah, just because I want to, please. <laughs> Just... Can I like transfuse his blood like you do with the Hulk, and then you become, you become <laughs> the superhero? No. Or is that, or is that just where you get hepatitis? I'll take, I'll take. <laughs> uh, what does happen, however, is uh, because we've hit the uh, churn over, and I rolled a one, uh, the shipwide alarm goes off. Uh, the is there? Thing... Does he have like a, a walkie or something? Uh, he, he's, that... got, he's got a terminal. The first thing that's going to happen is because that is the end of an encounter, advance the churn one, uh, you guys get to roll, uh, recover 1d6 fortune plus your level. I think that's right. Level? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just okay. check, but I'm pretty sure that's right. One. Cool. Uh, level one. We... Oh, roll a six. Well, it's, it happened what? now anyway, so yeah. Well, it's, you've, you've told us we can do that, so that's what's happening. It's 1d6 plus something, and it's either your level or your toughness. Or something, but I'm just going to look up breathers. If you want to change that to be con, then that would actually be better for me. It if might not, then it be. Um, so, a breathers, page 89. Um, 1d6 plus your constitution plus your. Level. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's even better. Lovely. Short change does. So you recovered that amount of fortune. The alarm is going off. Fair enough. Um, and you uh, you feel the ship start to manoeuvre. You suspect you're about to arrive wherever it is you're you're going. Okay, uh, that's fine. Does the is is Sylvie Sylv still locked away? Sylvie still locked away. Yep. Cool. With a code um, that only you know. Yes. <laughs> die in that room. <laughs> um. That's fine. <laughs> I wasn't really sorry. Um, my plan was to seduce her and then kill her anyway, so that's fine. She was um, going to give you a lovely going away present for whichever unpleasant place you're about to go. Exactly. You've locked her away. Yeah, quite right. 
Um, she's a slaver. I have no sympathy. Um, I part of me wants to get the, the the guy who knocked out his body on the gurney and covered in a blanket just to as a know, disguise. Suspicion. Yeah. Yeah. But well, do, like I said, does he have like a, a walkie or like a? So he he has a hand terminal, somewhere. which is kind of a phone walkie-talkie smartphone computer all in one is it worth trying to have a look at that yeah maybe yeah yeah i mean i feel like i'm not a good person to do that but in the story i thought of it 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 will be an intelligence uh security to try and get into the device i'm I'm just not even gonna bother i'm just looking i just look at it and go yeah nah i I I I can take a look yeah feel free I can just feel straight away that I'm not going to do it. I don't want to break it, so I just I just hand it 13. over. Thirteen. Um. Uh, yeah, you kind of you're you're in. You can. Uh, um. It, yeah, you're you're in the device. Uh, you can see it's it's flashing up with a, a kind of the alert for the ship wide alarm. Can I do anything to mute the alarm? Uh. Yeah, you can. Uh. Give me a. Um, a further security test. Seventeen. Yeah. Um. You. You kind of. You. You. You navigate through the menu and you. You. You silence the alarm across the. Uh, across the ship. Lovely. You how can, do, can you mention that the gravity changed then? So yeah, uh, how you can are feel we? It, uh, Give me a intelligence navigation a test, the pair of you, please. Aww. That could be a free fall. My dexterity, oh. my intuition. Uh, nine. Yes, the gravity's gone weird. Yeah, yeah. Twelve. Grigory, you recognise this. This is uh, matching up the uh, spin gravity of something. For- it, it would probably oh. take some kind of gravitometer to predict exactly the sort of thing you're matching up with, but you are you are matching up with with the spin of something based on what you've already heard. You can infer that your wherever your destination is, it's a space station, and you are kind of adjusting your your speed to uh, to match the spin. Um, so this guy had a weapon, didn't he? He yeah, he had a club. Is that going to affect my brawling? Uh, I'm assuming I can't brawl with a club. Does it does one d six plus? So it will be a melee weapon. It's a light weapon, and it would be one d six plus your strength damage. So that's exactly the same as my fists, anyway. Yeah. So that's of no use to me. Might be of use to you, Gregory, if you like. But uh, yeah, really but I have brawling, me. and so it would reduce yeah. my. It'll reduce your likeliness to hit, but it'll increase your damage. Yeah. So it's where you want to lie on that scale. It'll it'll just reduce my chance to hit. That's all it'll do to me. Can I keep it with me, but not necessarily... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, and from around to around, I choose you can decide whether you want to use it. <laughs> I have a club. <coughs> That's my inventory. Right. Um, do... We... Do we feel we need to get up to the? Do we need to take over the ship, or are we trying to escape, well, this or are we just trying to see where we go? With... Say, do we, do we go up the lift? Is that? I feel like if we hide down here, we're just going to have to fight against whoever comes and picks us up. Is it best to quickly rush the bridge and try and? I'd say so. Go out fighting at least on our own terms, if if if, if nothing else. I think we've been given a second chance. Let's give it a full whack. Let's the, let's ruin it. Let's just run straight ter- headfirst into the trap. The hand terminal springs into life. Uh, Aga, where you at, Koyo? What go on? You okay? Uh, <clears throat> I respond, trying to sound like him. Bear in mind that I can speak Creole. Yeah, yeah. Belt it. Um. Yeah. All good. Cargo is ready to, uh, ready to transfer. I can't even think of the word. Not even just in game. Just mind has gone blank. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, that's fine. While you're thinking for transit, give me a communication, yeah. a deception or detail or disguise. 
test. Eleven. Okay. He says, so we, we don't we don't need to bring these guns down. Uh, you hear the sound of a, a gun cocking. No, 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 no. All good. Just false alarm. Okay. You watch that serve again, right? Say that. I, uh, I, 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 I you want, he's, he's saying it was just Sylv has set it off again. Yeah, yeah. You know what she's like. Okay, well, we, we, we're docking now, and you hear the as the whole kind of ship uh, makes contact metal to metal. Um, they're expecting two onto gurneys. Uh, you, uh, got, you got you were down Cargo Bay. Uh, down has stopped really kind of meaning anything, but everybody knows when you say <laughs> down, you mean you mean to, towards the down ship. Down the arse end, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, they're expecting two, body, two bodies on the gurney. You better, better make sure you, you give it to them. We we do not we do not disappoint these vector security. They scary people. Of course, of course. Do we knock out Sylv, put her on the other gurney, chuck them both upstairs, and then hope they just take them? I that is part of what I'm thinking, but also I'm like, are we? They know who's come down, and they're not going to be like, ah, oh, it's just two random. Cargo people that have come back up with the gurneys. It's going to well, be. I feel like those are our two choices: rush the bridge or disguise, knock so that, and disguise are quick. But based on how that last combat went, well, Sylv might kill us. Yeah, and but even going back up, they've got guns. Captain might kill us if we can get into range with him. We might be able to disarm him quickly, and then I'm the captain now. <laughs> Give me my Captain Phillips moment. <laughs> I feel we could fool them a little bit by putting at least one body on a gurney and taking that up. So the cargo bay is down. The cargo bay, which is down. where the docking, uh, where the, the airlock is, is down. You know that the captain is up. So we're in between the captain and the docking bit. Correct. Okay. He, he says, "What? What are you waiting for? I'm not not uh, hearing anything from the from the <laughs> airlock." We're busy working out how we're going to take over your ship. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I don't, see I don't. in character. <laughs> I, I need thinking time. <laughs> um, what, while you're the whole world pauses. What happens next? I'd like well, that both changes to, both to give me that... a um, uh, intelligence current affairs role. Or this changes business. the fact that we wouldn't be going down or going up to the captain. That we'd be going down to the cargo bay, assuming we could just take two gurneys. But I don't know what Sylv will. Oh, that was a rubbish roll. Mine's a 12. Does he get a bonus for being a belt loader? No, not on this one. No. Okay. Eight. Do I get one for not being a belter? Neither of you have heard of vector security. Cool. I've got a 12. Uh, are we going to be able to do Sylv and put her on to a gurney? I mean, you, you took on a bigger, harder-looking belter. It took you a while, but you, you could potentially do that. Not I'm leaning on the side of rush the bridge, but that's... Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I will take your lead, because I'm, no. I'm the impulsive. <laughs> I'm the impulsive player, aren't I? I'm the impulsive player that gets us killed, so... Yeah, but I can't think fast enough before they do come <laughs> down in the lift and be like, what on earth's going on? Why have you not taken them down? Um... So you have one gurney here yeah. on the deck um, and a blanket and the two of you. Uh... 
and a body oh, of and, a and, and a body uh, who is wearing a, a set of overalls. Oh, let's go. Oh, if, if we rush the bridge, we're then docked with this vector security. That this is like the um, the drone versus the bomb thing. It's kind of like <laughs> either way. Either way, we're screwed. So, what do we prefer? We could I mean, go it down. Feels, it feels like we the clock's in vector. I feel yeah. like we could go down to the cargo bay and play off that the pirates have screwed over Vector. I think it's going to make Richard's life more difficult. So you know what? Yes, let's do that. Let's try and <laughs> let's see. Let's see how that goes. Let's take one. Let's take one body down, As and then be thing. like, yeah, and be like, ah. Oh, the captain said, are you going to bring two? No, we've only got one. You best go speaking to him. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, so we're saying that he's he's offered two, but only bringing one. You need to speak yeah. to him. Okay. And play off Vector versus... Okay. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with, that's, with that's it, that's my... If I'm going to go out... That's the I'm. I'm curious about Vector now, but that's just me. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy with that. So we cover cover what's his face up. We didn't even learn his name. Um, doesn't matter. Yeah, anymore, I, I, his life. His name. Um, uh, his name is Aga. You you did you did hear it. Aga the yeah, slave. I just didn't pay um, attention because I was too busy trying to think. <laughs> so yeah. Right, we'll do. Yeah, load, I'm load happy with that. Early. Screw it. Let's do that. Who's so, doing the talk? Do you want to do the talking, or do you want me to do the talking? I feel like you have a bit more of the charisma element, um, but I'm I louder. <laughs> louder. I have one. Com I have one communication. I've got two on communication. I'll talk. <laughs> I'm just loud. I'm also, I'm also louder. So. <laughs> That also makes a lot more sense, yeah. That make, you'd, make, you'd make more sense as a staff member. Hello, Benji, where have you gone? Right, yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so Aga on the gurney. Are you going to strap him yeah. down? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You strap him down, blanket over him, in the lift. You take the lift down. Um, I'm not going to hit another churn over this uh, this session because we haven't got very well. Maybe you're, who knows? Um, you take the lift down to the cargo bay, which opens up. Cargo bay is full of all sorts of things. There's crates and so on. You see a uh, give me uh, both. Give me a perception seeing test. I'm a bit busy right now. Twelve. Okay, I'll either lift the dog up so the camera can see it. Or give me a perception <laughs> seeing test. Uh, uh, like seven, not very good. Okay, Gregory. A twelve. Benji. You you see, there's a like a um a hold all strapped down. Uh, you can see out of it uh, there is a a pistol grip. You recognise oh, 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 it. This oh. is this is your stuff. What? Is it within? Yeah. yeah. Reaching you have, range. You have time. Uh, there we go, good boy Oh, you've done both, you've rolled and then you're going to have to lift him up a little bit more because uh, we can't quite see him but There we there. go, Benji, look over there Benji, look over here There we go Hello Benji <laughs> At this really good quite boy. important dramatic moment we're cutting to dog cam uh, we're, we're not, <laughs> I haven't got two screens it's going to be too complicated um, You uh, yeah. You crack on Okay um, Gregory, you just grab the the, the hold all, kind of uh, remove its strap and grab it. You can see everything else is kind of strapped down in in kind of good space of fashion, although everything is kind of grimy and and quite a lot has got like the corners knocked off and stuff. Can I give Gregory, Max things as well? Can you? Uh, can you? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So the the the, the hold all has got, judging by the weight of it, um, as you kind of drag it. Obviously, its weight down isn't great but it's kind of resistance to being pulled suggests yeah. it's probably got both of your firearms in and, and a bunch of other personal effects you grab that Lovely. 
Uh, Max is pushing the uh, the gurney. Mm-hmm. You uh, you press the the airlock open. You can see that the tunnel is already engaged. You press airlock open. It opens, and you now see the 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 walkway leads into the the docking station or the. Uh, uh, let me see. Number two. Uh, so I don't have, have a direct engine. welcoming party. Good. Uh, At least not here. You can see the docking port. Uh, as you come in, you can see that there is a... Uh, there's a kind of camera slowly sweeping across the area as as you enter. Is there... Any doors leading out? Uh, so what? the what? what the so there's there's there's, a, there's, a, there's a, like an airlock which you you approach. And I'm going to yeah yeah you so you you approach the the, the airlock door. Um, there is like an intercom button, and of course the the airlock. Sh- just for safety reasons, you, as you would expect, shuts behind you at the kind of back end of yeah. the uh, uh, of this this docking tunnel. Uh, I press the intercom then to the entrance to the the base. You you got the uh, you got the bodies. Yeah, we got the body. All right. Uh, come on in. Uh, so you recognise a a Martian voice, and the uh, the door opens, and uh, yeah, the, the the door opens and opens out into a, a kind of docking st- uh, sort of area. It's um, so number two is uh, unloading. Let's see if we've got any actual block text. Uh, as oh, we, another bit of block text. I don't think we do, but we vaguely get onto where I thought the session was going. Uh, yeah, you find yourself in a um, in a kind of, a kind of open area. Uh, there's it's low spin gravity, but you recognise there are some crates and things, and there is a there's a kind of passage to the right leading to another docking station, and dead ahead is a a, a doorway opening into. Um, it, what what seems to be some kind of central hub, um, yeah. So and is there a camera in this? So that, there's a section. camera kind of slowly sweeping across the room on some kind of pre-predicted uh, pattern. Um, bring the uh, bring the bodies through to the uh, through to the lab. You know the way. Yes. <laughs> we sure Is do. There any indication as to which way might be the lamp? Give me a communication deception test as you attempt to say yes with confidence. There's actually just a big hanging sign like at hospitals that says lab over there. <laughs> yeah. Um thirteen. Uh yeah, yeah, he seems he seems uh, that uh, there is no further comment. Uh, pretty much the only way to go is uh, to space right or straight ahead or back <laughs> onto the spaceship full of the pirates with guns who want to sell you to these people as uh, bodies donated to some unpleasant purpose. So it's straight ahead or back away you came. Is there, just out of curiosity, on the, on like the airlock behind us, is there like an eject button or like a an undock button that will cause the other ship to... Uh, Not to, like, blow away, yeah, but just to, like... To disconnect. And um, yeah. you, you, you reckon you could probably achieve that with uh, with a bit of security work? Yeah. Mm, not very good at that, am I? If you, what intelligence have you got? Not a lot. One. <laughs> I've got a count of one intelligence. In the expanse. It's not I've much more. Three... So it's as close to nothing as you can get without having nothing. I can uh, give it a is it is it worth but... it, Grigory? Do you think to try? Because um... and... it'll be a, it'll be a temporary. 
that love said they'll reconnect at some point and then be more suspicious, but we'll have a little bit of reprieve if there is any threat behind us. I don't know whether there's more threat behind us or more threat in front of us. Leave it. Well, if you I, want to leave it, I don't mind. It was, it was just a thought. I think it would be less suspicious for us to do to, stuff. To but in, in this moment, I also, Max, I hand you your a route through the hold and give you your stuff. So Thank we are both me. armed again. Um, nice. And is there anything, any, there's nowhere to hide in here or anything like that? It's no, just a... No, this is a kind of open docking area. This is for kind of moving freight through. So th- there are some pallets of goods, but not is there just because I, I it doesn't matter? I was being facetious. It doesn't matter. I was being stupid. I'm learning. So the next thing that happens <laughs> is you see the docking tunnel disengage, and oh. you hear the hand terminal that Grigor is holding uh, chirps into life, and he says, "Aga, I've got bad news for you. Sorry, uh, we we not see you again." And you can see through the docking stations, you kind of turn around. The ship is pulling away. They, they pay us extra. They want, they want four bodies. Oh, and well, they're going to be disappointed then. The, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, pull that, just, just go back to him straight away and say, well, they're going to be disappointed there, pal. Because um, yeah. there's only one gurney. <laughs> And your your mate is unconscious on it, and we're fine, pal. I don't know what you're That's doing. What you... Doesn't matter anymore. And the connection gets lost to your terminal. And that is where we're going to leave it for today. In what is turning out to be a sort of weird parallel campaign. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I, that actually, at the end, that fully caught me. So I'm, I'm, I'm here now. I'm mm. here for this. I don't want the other cast members to turn up. This is for me and Alice. This is our little, <laughs> yeah. little private adventure. Yes. It's me and Alice. Yes. <laughs> Love me. And Grigory, Grigory and Max I'm, running a mock in, in space. <laughs> yeah. With some, with some unconscious belters. Well, viewer, thank you so much for uh, for joining me, for joining us uh, for the D20 Future Show Live Plays The Expanse. Absolute bounty prequel. Um, it, it turns out Wiglaf's betrayal isn't the only bad thing going on. It's we'll workshop the title, uh, but uh, we were <laughs> delighted to have you here. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to fumble around with things and uh, generate a. Uh, and this is going to be so good on the YouTube edit. Uh, I'm going to fumble around and find a raid and stuff. I I think we'll uh, we'll just we'll, we'll try and cut before this nonsense, but. Um, it, uh, thank you so much. If you want to follow us, if you don't already and you want to follow us, you can click on the follow icon. Uh, I think it's a little heart. Um, that will uh, mean that you'll get notifications when we go live. That would be good. Um, you can also subscribe if you want to give us money. Um, now would be maybe a weird moment to do it, but uh, if you do, if you've decided that we've won you around, you could absolutely do that. Um, you could also find us on the socials. Uh, socials. Uh, we're on. I do. I've just. I've just thought. I do have an in-game question. Quickly. Okay. Is it? Is it one that the as, viewers need to see? Yes. Okay. As Ooh. the ship pulled away. Yes. Did we see a name? Did we recognise the ship? Was um, it the Beowulf or this other ship that we uh, took over? No, you didn't recognise oh. the name of the ship. Fine. No, nope, uh, fine. That was all. Brill. Uh, you can find us on the socials. Uh, or we're on Twitter, Facebook, and Blue Sky. And if you can find us, we're on Mastodon. Do we ever post on Mastodon? No, not really. It's mostly Blue Sky and uh, and Twitter. Um, so there you go. Uh, do find us there. We're also a podcast. Uh, we are currently playing Evil Genius Games uh, Everyday Heroes, which is the 5e-powered game of modern action cinema. You can find that on all good, neutral, and evil podcast platforms, uh, or just go to podomatic.com slash podcast slash D20 Future Show. Uh, you will find us there. You can be entertained by our nonsense 
in uh, edited half hour chunks rather than in two hour sprawls of nonsense. Um, it's it's about the same level of nonsense. It's just small, it's slickly edited. Um, otherwise, it's been an absolute delight having you. Uh, it is goodbye from Allard. That's not that's not what I meant. Bye. To say. It's oh no, you're you're doing it right. I'm doing it wrong. It's goodbye from Adam. Have you worked it out now? Not really. Goodbye from Adam. Good. See you in a bit. <laughs> And uh, it'll be goodbye from me. Uh, I'm we're gonna we're gonna do a raid now. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna try and find a raid. Um, if I just go slash raid, um, and then see if I can work out who's online home. Uh, just no. Nope. All I can hear is my wife shouting at my dog because I assume he's trying to get up at the tea that's now on the counter. So. Uh... Uh, if I go back she into watch me. mode, maybe that'll tell me who's online. Um, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go raid. Uh, um, has Matt Blair started? We haven't raided Matt Blair for ages. We'll go and we'll do an early raid on Matt Blair. That's what we'll do. Uh, so there yeah. it is. Matt Blair UK. Does that work? The raid has been created. Uh, come and raid Matt Blair UK. Not least of which because he, there's a great raid song. Um, uh, the um, the raid message as ever is uh, Max the Churn. Um, we're going to go. Uh, you've been a delight. We've been the D Twenty Future Show. We'll catch you next time. Bye. And if you're on the uh, the Twitch VOD, then uh, goodbye. <laughs>